Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another um, kata on the Code Wars. And today we'll be treating the fake binary 8Q kata. So uh, just a reminder for those who are coming here for the first time, uh, Binary Life is a channel that is going to help you in solving algorithms so that you can um, see the thinking process and how we come about the solutions. So let's try to solve this. So um, basically, uh, let's read the exercise rapidly since it's just one line. Given a string of digits, you should replace any digit below 5 with 0 and any digit above 5 with 1 so that at the end we return, we get a binary. Alright, so um, we are given a string x. Let me just call it string like this. We have to convert everything uh, less than 5 to 0 and more than 5 to 1. So what am I going to do? It means I have to break, this is one string, I have to break it down because in JavaScript strings are immutable, meaning we cannot change it. So we can break it down into array, into an array so that we can change each element. So I'm going to break it down into an array and change each element inside. And uh, to make it easy, I'm going to create a temporary array, TMP. I put it zero way I'm going to be doing the changes I'm putting inside so what do I mean I'm going to to split the array so that it becomes to split the string so that it becomes an array so um, if I take the string and split and then it every it becomes an array and then I loop through each element for each for each um let's call it um a number string because um they are numbers but remember they are actually strings so that's why i call it number strings so for each number string what am i going to do i have to convert it into a number so that i can check if it is um greater than or equal to greater than or less than five so in order to convert to let's open the not console so that you can see something it's taking some time to load that's because I have many services running in the background so if I declare a variable um, name to be equal to the string 5 if I say plus name it becomes the figure five you see this is written without the quotes like this so if i put a plus in front of a character integer it becomes a number so i'm going to use that um principle here so if um the number string this is it the plus if the number string is equal or greater than five that means we need a one then what am i going to do i'm going to push one inside the tmp array else i'm going to push zero at the end of the loop, we're going to have a, let me console the log. We're going to have TMP having our ones and zeros. Let's try that. Now the plus is not working. I don't know why. Okay, let's try to debug. Now I'll comment this code and uh, sorry about that this is debugging 101 and then um i'm going to console log just to see if a uh, num string is a correct representation of our individual digits <coughs> so that's fine <coughs> Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to come back. Oh, 
hope I made a mistake if it is greater than or equal to yeah that's the sign all right so let's go back to where we were all right that's it so this is our TMP here it's an array of ones and zeros okay so now I need to check um let's say return the resulting string it means I need to reconvert back this into a string how do I do that if I, I need to I need to join all the numbers there without species all right now let's console log that and see I need to return something like this so that's what is console log we still have the red because it's not returned so I can just return this all right that passes the code now I can try to reduce some lines like if there is an if an if condition with just one statement that follows you don't need the parentheses you can just say if else just to unclutter the code yeah something like that let's test and it works and uh we can even go further no i'm going to leave it like that that simple okay so let's run the submission the final submission and uh, see what is proposed by other developers let's give some time okay so this is a very simple solution so if we split the string map is another way of looping so we are looping and mapping that is, is a way of looping while replacing the original the original array because when we say x dot split it converts the string into an array so when we map it means as we're looping here and uh, checking some conditions we're replacing the original array so what what are we replacing we're replacing everything that is less than five by zero else by one at the end of the day we have an array that has been replaced with ones and zeros and then we rejoin back this is a very clever in short form of writing what we just did which is actually very good now this is uh, using um um how do we call these are uh, regular expressions all right um this is something just like we did now but we we use an array here so he's actually using better string and concatenating like the plus i concatenating the string and at the end we just return the string no need to join we had to join because we had an array okay and this is the same like above concatenation this is the same like the first one so basically everything is about the same spirit a part of it's a wise one this is this is very wise this is um regular expression it takes the string and replace um every uh, character that's between 0 and 4 by 0 and everything between 5 and 9 to 1 this is very wise actually so guys see you on another video for another kata and another algorithm and don't forget to subscribe for more algorithms thanks for watching